Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending today's virtual press conference about the exciting future of the Monmouth University women's basketball program. Today, you will hear from Monmouth University President Patrick Leahy and Deputy Director of Athletics Jeff Stapleton, who will introduce the new head coach of the Hawks, Ginny Bogus. After Coach's opening statement, she will be available for questions. If you have a question for Coach, we ask that you please use the raise hand function or you type in the chat. At this time, it's my pleasure to turn it over to the president of Monmouth University, Patrick Leahy. Great, thank you, Eddie, and uh, welcome everybody. I'm so pleased to be in uh, all of your company, in particular in the company of our newest uh, member of the Monmouth family, uh, Coach Ginny Bogus. You'll get uh, properly introduced to her in just a minute. I just wanted to say a few uh, opening uh, comments on this special occasion in our history. You know, Monmouth University is on a mission, a mission that's uh, been codified in our newest five-year strategic plan. And that mission is to integrate excellence and access like no other school in our category across the country. And we recognize that to be a national leader at integrating excellence and access, we have committed ourselves at this university over the next five years and, and longer to becoming both more excellent and more accessible. Monmouth University Athletics is the best example or one of the best examples of that integration of excellence and access here on our campus already. Our 23 athletic programs, 23 athletic programs bring student athletes of diverse backgrounds from all over the state and the country, even all over the world here to West Long Branch, demonstrating how we wanna make a private first class university as accessible as possible. And at the same time, it's pretty clear, I hope, from our performance of our athletic teams that we set a very high standard of excellence through athletics. So Monmouth Athletics integrates those two in a, real, in a very real way. But there's one team, quite frankly, that over the last number of years has not met our high standards for excellence. That is until right now. I am so pleased to welcome to Monmouth University our next uh, head women's basketball coach, Ginny Bogus. Uh, I had a chance to meet Ginny uh, during the uh, interview process. It took me about 10 minutes to determine that she was the right person for Monmouth. Three things, really. One, a deep, commitment to student success in the classroom. Number two, a sincere desire to serve others in the community. And then lastly, of course, no surprise, a real hunger to create a championship culture on the court. You put the three of those together, and in my view, and in the view of so many others here, we have the perfect person to lead our program. I can't wait to introduce her to all of you in just a minute. But before I do, I just want to thank a couple people who helped make this possible. All the people in athletics who were so instrumental in incre increasing the pool of candidates and bringing candidates here to campus and then identifying a star among them. In particular, I want to recognize Jennifer Lawler. She's our senior associate athletic director for student development and our senior women's administrator. She was so involved in this search from the beginning. In fact, I think it was her idea to have the candidates meet the head coaches of all of our women's teams, which I think is evidence of the a kind of culture, the kind of community that we're trying to build here. So let me thank publicly Jennifer Lawler for her efforts. And then lastly, I wanna thank our current deputy athletic director, Jeff Stapleton. Some of you may have seen, I think it was just earlier this week that uh, I named Jeff 
to be the next athletic director here at Monmouth at the end of this fiscal year. What a privilege for us at this university to have someone who spent 31 years totally dedicated to this institution, knows everything there is to know about intercollegiate athletics over that time. And yet, upon talking with him about the future, brought passion and energy and enthusiasm. It's not every day you find that combination of rich experience and, as they st say, still a lot of gas in the tank uh, for the years to come. So um, I want to thank both Jennifer and Jeff for their incredible work bringing Ginny here to Monmouth. Jeff, I would say that you're off to a very good start. So my thanks to all of you for tuning in. Uh, it is, in fact, a great day to be part of the Monmouth University community. Let me now turn it over to our now deputy athletic director, Jeff Stapleton, to introduce our new coach. Jeff. Thank you, President Leahy, and good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's press conference. As we like to say at Monmouth University, it is a great day to be a Hawk, and today is no exception. Before I introduce Jenny, I just wanted to thank Jennifer Law, our senior women's administrator, for her hard work and dedication during this interview process. We held a national search for this position, and the pool of candidates was simply outstanding. We'd like to thank, we, like, we would like to thank everyone that took time to share their vision for Monmouth women's basketball. But today, we are here to formally introduce our newest member to the Monmouth University family. She comes to us with extensive experience at both the mid-major and the highest levels of Division I. For the last two years, she has served as the top assistant coach and the head recruiting coordinator at Penn State. Throughout her career, Ginny has earned the reputation as a tireless recruiter and has shown an outstanding ability to develop student athletes. Her energy and passion were evident from our first conversation, and we feel she is the right woman to lead our program into the future. And with that said, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the ninth head women's basketball coach in program history, Ginny Bogus. Ginny? Thank you so much. Um, technology is great, so that took just a little bit of a pause there. Sorry about that. Um, you guys, I'm so excited. I want to just take a quick second to, to thank President Leahy and um, Dr. McNeil. Um, for creating such an incredible athletic environment and, and tradition here um, of excellence at Monument. Uh, Jeff Stapleton and Jennifer Lawler, uh, for your time and for your belief in me um, and for giving me an opportunity to lead your women's basketball program. I could not be more ecstatic uh, to get further into my vision for this, for this team, um, but I would be remiss if I first didn't thank the coaches uh, – who are leaving the program and Jody and the great job that she did here and the incredible women that are in our program. And I promise I will take the best care of them. Um, I also want to thank Carolyn Keeger uh, and the other head coaches who have given me an opportunity to work under them and for kicking me in the butt and, and making me who I am today when I needed it. Um, I'm, I'm very grateful for my path um, and for the many levels that I've been able to, to contribute. I want to thank my mom and dad and Kristen uh, and I wish you guys were here, uh, but we can't. COVID's kind of got everything on lockdown. Um, I think we mentioned it, the opportunity to meet with your women's head coaches and to hear why they're so successful. And not just occasional success, sustained success on their respective courts and fields and in the classroom and in the community year after year is unbelievable. Their passion for the student athlete experience the administration and the leadership's passion for the student athlete experience made Monmouth a very easy choice for me. It's clear this is a community I want to be a part of for a long time. And it's a place I feel because of the academic reputation, the community support and involvement, the outstanding facilities and the local talent. We can be very successful. We're going to work really hard. You're going to see instantly a change in the women's basketball program. A lot of people have asked me what kind of style we're going to play. We're going to play very up-tempo. 
Uh, we're going to be disrupt disruptive and, and dictate on defense, and we're going to get out and go. I'm going to let these young women do what they do, which is play basketball. And we're going to have a fun time celebrating them and enjoying their successes for years to come. There, there's been a, a lot of conversation about the local talent. I promise you we will work tirelessly to put a fence around New Jersey and the Shore area to keep the best and the brightest home so that you guys can come to Monmouth University and this incredible facility and support them and watch us build this program together. That being said, the academic reputation of Monmouth and the athletic success also allows for a broader footprint. And we promise to go out and recruit the best and the brightest and bring them here to Monmouth to play our style of play and build championship culture. I'm excited to build a staff that exemplifies my core values of hard work, toughness, integrity. We're going to grind. We're going to get after it. We're going to work really, really hard to bring the right talent in here. Um, we're going to be very visible in the community. We're going to open our doors to you for practices, camps, clinics. Uh, this is an open house as far as I'm concerned. We're, we're excited to share it with you. Um, so I can't wait to, uh, to get to the points where we can get rolling on a staff um, and share them with you as well. I know the team was excited today. Um, I was fortunate because of, of how everything unrolled that I got to meet with, with the women this morning. They're an incredibly bright and passionate group of women. They're excited and we are ready to get to work. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for believing in me. I'm so looking forward to getting started and putting a product on the floor that we all can be very proud of. Um, and it is a great day to be a Hawk. Well, Coach, thank you very much. And, and Jeff and President Leahy, thank you as well. Uh, at this time, we will open the floor to questions. If you have a question, you can use the raise hand function. You can also type it in the chat. And our first questions will come from Asbury Park Press writer who's covered Monmouth for years. Steve Edelson, the floor is yours. Hi, Jenny. Welcome to Jersey Shore. Thank you, Steve. Um, I'm just curious your initial thoughts of the campus, the facility, the program, the roster, anything uh, on, on any of that. You're just your initial thoughts. Uh, I left a really good job to take this job. Um, and so that leads you to know how much I believe in, in the potential and the path for success here. Um, a lot of text messages that came in today were, finally, it's about time, long overdue. I, I don't know if that just means I'm old um, or if people have been waiting for this moment. But what I can tell you is I, I have been looking for the perfect fit while doing my job to the best of my ability every day. Um, and Monmouth was a no-brainer. The facilities, the location, the talent all precedes Monmouth. But when you get here and you meet the people, it is the difference factor. And I want to be with these people every day. I want to build with these people every day. I really believe one of my favorite quotes is iron sharpens iron. And so I, I'm looking forward to contributing to that iron, but I'm also looking forward to learning and growing with this community every day. Um, the roster, I'm excited about these young women. We have what we need in that locker room to compete. And, and we will have a direction that they can buy into. Um, we will develop our players with all of our available resources to make sure they are the best they can possibly be on the court. Um, but first and foremost, as, as people and as students, um, I am here to make sure they reach their goals and their dreams. And when they leave Monmouth, they look back and it is the best years of their life. You talked about kind of putting a fence around Jersey and the, the shore area. The, the transfer portal has become such a huge part of the game now. What are your thoughts on that? And is that something you will explore uh, in terms of uh, bringing talent in? For sure. I think you have to in, in today's climate, at least explore it. Right. Um, but but we're going to we're going to attack recruiting and really get pace of play um, without compromising character um, and really get that perfect fit. Um, if there is someone that comes along that I have a prior relationship with that I know fits our culture and will you know, build up our locker room, certainly we'll have that conversation and I'll reach out. Um, we would like a little bit more depth. I talked to the women about that this morning, adding one or two pieces. Um, and so we'll see what happens, but I'm not going to compromise the locker room. I'm not going to compromise academic excellence um, for anything, for just a talented player. We're, we've got enough in the room to do what we need to do. 
Will you interview uh, members of the current coaching staff? I will. I will. I have plans to speak with them as soon as possible, hopefully tomorrow, um, to give them an opportunity. And again, I'm really thankful for Jody and her staff and, and for the young women and the work that they did um, to build Mama to where it is today. Just one more for me right now. Um, in terms of community outreach and trying to make this program, you know, a part of the community, which um, really embraces girls, high school basketball and stuff. Is that a big part you see of, of kind of the vision for this program? Absolutely. Absolutely. We will be very, very visible in the community. And that starts right here on campus. You know, we're going to support other student athletes. We're going to support other organizations on campus and their missions. Um, and then hope that we build allies and they come support us. Um, and then we're going to reach out a little bit, a little bit larger of a net and really be active in the community. And, and these are incredible women that I want you guys to know on a personal level so that you're invested and you want to come support them in their, in their work on the court. Um, and then, yeah, as far as reaching out to New Jersey, like I said, camps, clinics, um, will travel. It's always been a joke for me. Um, we will come to you um, and you will see our staff out and our team out in every corner of the state working hard to make sure that we know every player and every player knows us. Perfect. Thanks, Jenny. Steve, thank you very much. Uh, now I see the hand raised of Shore Sport Network and Town Square Media's own Kevin Williams. Kevin, the floor is yours. Let's make sure Kevin unmutes first, right? I think we're okay now. You sound great, Hi, Kevin. Kevin. Thanks, Eddie. Coach, welcome to the Jersey Shore again. Thank uh, you. Great. Great to have you here. Uh, you alluded yourself that you left a really good situation. I mean, you were at a Big Ten school that, while has struggled a little bit, has great basketball history. What made you think in your mind this was the right time for you to leave that to come to a program that is really struggled? I have a, a history of building programs. We went worst to first at Marquette. Um, Penn State is well on its way to great success. Uh, we've had three recruits commit to Penn State in, the, in even just the last week that are really going to change the traje trajectory of their program. Um, but it is – the potential here is unlimited. This is a sleeping giant. Everything I need is in place to be successful. And I think, like I said, the local talent, my recruiting relationships, these facilities, the education that we can offer these young women to go – not these four years, but the next 40 years of their life and just be on fire, leaders for life. Um, to me, it just felt like the perfect fit. And again, you know, we've talked about the academic environment here, the smaller class sizes. Um, I'm from a small town. I, I went to a small private school. I've had a history of success at small private schools. Um, the majors that are offered here are very appealing to women uh, that they can be very successful in. So there's, there's really just so many reasons I could go on and on about why Monmouth is right for me and why I think I'm right for Monmouth. I want to follow up. Um, Monmouth did its due diligence in interviewing you and others. I'm sure you did your due diligence in deciding to make a decision. I have to believe in some of the research you did. You heard a lot of people tell you how great girls high school basketball is here but yet very few of those players end up at Monmouth. Did you get any feeling from what has been the problem with that and what makes you think you can maybe turn that around a little bit in addition to your re recruiting from all over? Yeah, I mean, I've had success keeping players home. You know, three of the five of our first recruiting class at Marquette that ended up scoring over 8,000 points, three of those young women were from Wisconsin. Uh, two were from right there in downtown Milwaukee. Um, so when I think about keeping players home, um, it's just having conversations about what's important to them, how they can feel like they're still having a collegiate experience and getting away while staying home and the benefits of that. And it's finding the right, the right fit, the ones that want to stay home. Um, and those are conversations that we'll have to find the right fit. Um, but again, it's about selling the vision, the style of play, the opportunity to have your family in the stands every single night, to have your community rally around you. I think, you know, without getting too far ahead, the new name, image, likeness, opportunities here for someone who would want to stay home could be really beneficial. Um, and those are just things that we'll, that we'll navigate as we move forward. But no question, um, even far before this search, I've been recruiting New Jersey my entire career. Um, so 
there is no no shortage of players here, and I'm excited to build championships with with kids that want to stay home. Last question for me: Did you have a favorite flavor of ice cream at the creamery? <laughs> uh, monkey business. Ah, there you go. Well, there's a lot of good ice cream places around here, so we'll have to give them to you. Kevin, I I would love that, and I also want your favorite pizza spots. So let me know. Welcome to the shore again. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Kevin, thank you very much. And I believe we have another question from our colleague, Steve, from the Asbury Park Press. Hey, Jenny, are there certain lessons you take from the rebuild you guys did at Marquette that you can use here uh, at Monmouth? A hundred percent. Marquette and Penn State. It was mm-hmm. it was funny. I was, I was joking with Jennifer about you know you compare you compare your two-year-olds right your first two-year-old did this at whatever age and then your your next child um you know we talked a lot about that you know well at year two at marquette this happened and then year two at penn state this happened and year three you hope is the true tipping point but absolutely i have journals and notebooks full of life lessons um throughout the rebuilds um but really the most important thing and we will always keep the main thing the main thing is the student athlete experience And yes, while we are trying to build championships here and we will build a championship culture, making sure they have an amazing experience every day is the most important part of my job, that they graduate with a degree that they can go on and, and like I said, just dominate the world. And and one more, you you talk about the the student athlete experience. Obviously the last year has been very tough on student athletes and that experience has been tough and you know, I think that's one of the reasons you see so many kids transferring and, and doing things. Um, I don't know. You have to kind of be mindful of the players, kind of the emotional temperature as you move forward, given everything that has happened over the last year and what everyone's been through. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and that's why, you know, they asked first thing, are we going to do basketball today when we met? And I was like, absolutely not. Um, we're going to get to know one another. And I want to hear, about you and your families and your goals and your dreams and your majors and why you chose Monmouth and why you stayed. Um, I told the, the young women two things really impressed me when I started doing my research, which was one, I watched a ton of film of them and they never gave up. They never had bad attitudes. Um, they just kept fighting and that's to be commended. They're competitors and it's in there. And the other thing is they didn't all go jump in the portal, which means two things. They love each other and they love Monmouth. And that was really important to me. Um, so although they didn't choose to come play necessarily for me, they chose each other and I chose them and we all chose Monmouth. And I think we have that in common and we'll build on that. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty exciting. Thanks, Jim. I see Kevin has his hand raised yet again. Hopefully it's another food follow-up, Kevin. I know I enjoyed the last one. We'll give you the floor now. You do need levity at times, let's be honest. I, I, I bring that to the table. Coach, I do have one more question. It has been alluded to by President Leahy, uh, Jeff Stapleton, and yourself that you had a chance to meet with the other women's head coaches on campus. And I'm wondering what came out of that. Was there a universal message from those people that made you truly believe that this is a place where you can win at? It was, it was really fantastic because they presented the opportunity for me to interview them. Uh, you know, what, uh, what are your relationships on campus? Uh, do you feel supported by the administration? Um, all of the things are important as a head coach. Um, so that was really cool that they trusted their staff. We always joke as, as recruiters, you know, if we leave you alone with the team, we trust the team. So they left me alone with the team, which was really cool. Um, and it shows the culture here, but the biggest thing that was conveyed, I mean, I can Google their successes. I can Google, you know, their records and and who they've hired and why all Americans have come back to be assistant head coaches here and all of the reasons that, that their pedigree is great. But what really came across was their hope for a women's basketball team that they could be proud of and their hope for these women to have an exceptional student athlete experience. And it let me know very quickly why they're successful because they care first about the student athlete and they're very proud of Monmouth. And that really just, it, it really tugged on me. I think when you've got the, that many women that are that successful, um, willing to be supportive, willing during their season, someone game day to give an hour to me um, in hopes that 
mama finds the best candidate um, was really, really special. And you could just feel their passion. Thank you again. Steve, let's send it back over to you. Last one, I promise. Ginny, um, 1983 was the last time Monmouth has been to the NCAA tournament. Um, I don't know. It's a long time. Is that I, Obviously, that is the ultimate goal, I, I, I would assume, to, to get back to, to the tournament. It is, and I appreciate the softball there, Steve, because I, I left out the alumni, which was um, completely my fault. Um, we're, we're standing on the shoulders of giants here. And these women have forged a path. And you look in the rafters and it's a little empty. It's a lot empty. Um, and so we want to bring them back home. We want them to be a part of this rebuild, a part of this program, a part of the excitement. Um, they deserve to see all of their hard work uh, come to fruition. They deserve to see the championships that should be hanging in the rafters, hanging there. Um, we talked about it being, you know, a couple of years away from a big anniversary of that first tournament and, and you know, the potential to celebrate that. Um, but it's always cool to have them come back and tell the girls how much better they have it now, uh, how much nicer the locker rooms are and um, talk about tradition and share stories and things. So uh, I also joked with them about that as well. But that's going to be one of my first one of my first missions is to get the alumni back involved here at Monmouth. Um, I know a handful of them just through recruiting some of them coached and moved on and um they love this place and they're very proud of it well, i don't see any further questions from our media members and before we let everyone go we again want to thank everyone for tuning in to our virtual press conference today to announce our newest member of the hawk family and coach bogus and coach before we let you go i'm going to give you the final word we've heard your thoughts and everything that you're going to bring to this Monmouth program, but we'll give you the final word before we say good afternoon here on what this Monmouth opportunity means to you. This means the world to me and my family, and, and this truly is the perfect fit uh, for me to build a championship program. Um, I couldn't be more excited to get started. Literally, the basketball is bouncing in the background, and I want to go down on the court right now. Um, I'm not sure if it's someone's kids or, or who's down there, but I, I just I can't wait to get started. Um, Recruits, we're coming for you. Um, can't wait to share this place with you. You're going to be blown away, as was I. And um, it's a great day to be a Hawk. Well, Coach, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. We appreciate our friends from the media who have been able to join us here this afternoon, as well as the words from both Jeff Stapleton and President Patrick Leahy. This is the newest member of the Monmouth family and head women's basketball coach, Ginny Bogus. For more information on Coach, please visit MonmouthHawks.com. We appreciate you watching our virtual press conference here this afternoon. Have a great day, everyone. And again, to echo the thoughts of Coach, it is indeed a great day to be a Monmouth Hawk.